In this video, you'll learn how to set yourself up for financial success in 2022 and beyond, with the best advice available anywhere. There are many factors that will impact your finances in the coming years, and we'll be discussing them in detail. From understanding stocks, bonds, and commodities to what your net worth is, we'll show you the best way to plan for success. Here are some financial rules to follow in 2022. This list is not exhaustive, but it will help you build your financial shield towards the future. The first rule, get out of debt as quickly as possible. The best way to do that, is by planning a budget that will allow you to track your spending better and eliminate unnecessary expenses. One of the most important rules when you're in debt, is to not let your debt grow. In 2022, it's going to be a lot more difficult to get out of debt than it was in the past. This is because interest rates are going up and inflation will be on the rise. It's important for consumers to always pay off their debts, in order to clear some cash flow each month, save on interest charges and be able to grow their net worth over time. The second rule, start putting away some money aside and start saving as early as possible. Saving money now will help you in the future when you need money for emergencies or retirement. It's never too early to start saving money. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. And the more time you have to accumulate wealth. The first step to saving money, is to figure out how much you can afford to save now, and how much you'll need in the future. This way, you'll know how much money you should be setting aside each day or week, and how quickly your savings will grow over time. Figure out how much you can afford to save. First, consider your current income. How much money do you make each month, and what is the average salary in your area? Next, figure out how many months it would take to reach your savings goal if you were able to save 20% of what you earn each month. If that sounds reasonable, that would mean saving $200 per month. Once you know how much money you need to save, determine how long it will take to save that amount of money in your savings account. The third rule, invest your surplus money wisely, and only for cash flow. Investing your money in stocks, bonds, and mutual funds can help you earn more and make your money last longer than if you just put it in a savings account or CD. In a growing interest rate environment, and especially as the Fed has declared he'd be tightening and taming inflation, there's a god chance that prices will not continue to rise as rapidly. This means that investing for capital gains, meaning in an expectation for future price increases, is a risky bet. Instead, look for productive assets that produce monthly cash flow. You might aim to find yields that supersede the inflation rate, so that your money saves its purchasing power. Investing in stocks is one of the best ways to grow your money. But with the numerous options available, it can be hard to decide where to put your money. There are many factors that go into investing and this article will help you understand them better. The key to successful investing is staying invested for the long term. If you sell too early, you may not see a return on your investment and miss out on opportunities for growth. The fourth rule is to plan for the worst case scenario with insurance coverage. When it comes to insurance coverage, it is important to have a plan for the worst case scenario. Rates are constantly changing, it's important to get the best deal you can. The last thing you want is to unexpectedly be faced with an increase in your premiums or have your coverage completely terminated. That rule alone, can protect your income and assets from life's uncertainties, such as unemployment, disability, illness, and aging. The fifth rule, try to save for retirement from an early age. Employer-sponsored 401ks are a great way to set money aside for the future. You can access these plans in most cases at any point during your career, and will have more money saved when you retire if you start contributing as soon as possible. The 401k is a great retirement savings account because it can be used to pay for future expenses, like taxes or medical bills, or to help you save for the future. This is where you want to put your money, not in a high-risk investment that could decrease by 50% one day. The sixth rule, think about the new economic environment as you move forward. The new economic environment is a new economy that is emerging from the changes in the global economic, social and technological environment. The new economic environment has started to take shape with the rise of globalization, digitalization and climate change. The changes have been rapid and dramatic. They are affecting every aspect of our lives, including work, family life, healthcare, education and retirement. We are now living in an era where we need to rethink our old assumptions about how economies work. Economies are no longer just about production and consumption. They also involve ecology and technology. We need to learn how to live sustainably while continuing to grow economically at a rapid pace. Let's recap what we discussed in this short video. 1. We urge you to take action and implement some of the best financial advice that you can use in 2022. 
2. Learn how to save as much money as possible, invest right, and make sure you're financially fit for retirement. 3. In order to mitigate the effects of inflation over you and your household, try and buy things ahead, while deferring unnecessary expenses. Some people suggest to stock up on some basis food items, which in itself is quite sound advice. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.